Joining me today is Will Mahusai of Sydney Savulachan, whose restaurant is paving the way for Filipino food in Australia. Now, you're cooking a special tea from your hometown. Cebu Lechon. Yay! <laughs> Let's get started. What is the first step to perfect Cebu Lechon? Okay, so first of all, we obviously need pork belly today. And so skin down. Okay. And it's really simple. It's a very rustic way to prepare the uh, roast pork. We've got our aromats here, black peppercorns, star anise, bay leaves, garlic, scallions, or spring onions and lemongrass. Scatter over the top? Over the top, yeah. your star anise. Okay, again, just whole star anise. Just whole star there. anise. Beautiful. And you've got a handful of bay leaves, or about four or five pieces of bay leaves, just scatter them all over. We're almost there. And then you've got your scallions. So your scallions, you kind of want to just sort of break it into smaller pieces like this. And that's so it doesn't come out of the edge of the pork belly. That's right, that's right. So kind of... Oh, and that releases the flavour by crunching it as that's well. That's right. And we've got a, a stick of lemongrass. Should I have a go of Jane? Yes, please. Okay. So, Will, tell me what defines Cebu lechon compared to all of the other lechons in the country. The flavour. That umami packed full of flavour in the meat, infused in the meat. And, of course, that glistening, golden, crackling skin that you get when you bite into it. Oh, my gosh. I have to say, I completely agree. Cebu lechon is my favourite. I won't tell that to the northern Luzon people. But... <laughs> It's all right, you can. Okay, it is the best, it is the best. And then the garlic as well. Okay, whole garlic cloves, just throw them in as well. Throw them in. I love how easy this is. Um, and we're almost there, so we've got our vegetable powder stock. Okay. And just uh, sprinkle it generously over the top. So this is some Don't of that um, umaminess as well, right? Yes. Ramming it into the meat. That's correct. So now... So some fresh bubbly coke. Some coke here. And I'm gonna mix that in together with the soy sauce. So tell me about this Coke situation. Simple. Coke's main ingredient is what? Sugar? Sugar. Yes. So <laughs> with sugar and the soy sauce, it gives it that sweetness and that umami flavour that we will use later on to base the skin before putting it in the oven to roast. And the sugar in the Coke gives it that caramelisation on the outer skin as well. Let's roll our pork belly and tie it up. OK. OK. Push it together really tightly. Let's try and make a roll. Yes, perfect. And I'm going to get the butcher's string underneath there. Yep. So, Will, I know that Sydney Sibulechon is carried on from your family, from your parents. How did the business begin? My parents felt a little bit homesick after immigrating here back in the mid-80s. So they're from Cebu? From Cebu. Cebu City? I was born in Cebu, raised in Sydney. So that's why I called it Sydney Sibulechon, because I grew up in Sydney, but Sibulechon is the name of um, what we're cooking today. An homage to your two homes. Yes. So I'll pop that over here. Yes, please. And the hot water should be ready. OK, great. So we're just going to pour hot water over the pork skin here. And the reason being because it helps with the crispiness. Can you see the skin sort of shrinking? Yeah. Yeah, wow. so that's perfect. You're doing it. You've done this before, yes? <laughs> just a few times. OK, so we've got this device here. It's to measure the uh, food temperature. But there's also a sharp the little tip is let's pierce it. OK. Yep. What does that do? Piercing it all over the skin, basically you're releasing the fat as it roasts in the oven. So it avoids that sort of that bubbling um, building up and you get a smoother skin. And that's the key to lechon, right? That yes. That smooth, glistening skin. That's Not right. Not like a porchetta where it's bubbling. That's that, right. Yeah. So we're going to base the skin with our Coke and soy sauce mixture. Yeah. And just, um, yeah, be generous. And there you go. Do you notice the uh, colour of the skin just changed? Yeah, it's getting beautiful kind of gold and yellow colour there. So that's the colour you want to achieve. And now your oil there that you will drizzle and we'll just sort of massage it evenly. Will, what do you love about Cebu? I would say the street food. The street food and the beaches. Cebu has that mixture of cosmopolitan lifestyle as well as the island lifestyle. You go north and you get that blue turquoise water, white sand beaches. You go south and you've got this beautiful rainforest. In the middle, you've got the cosmopolitan, the nightlife, all the street food and the hustle and the bustle. So the best of three different worlds. Yeah, I mean, it's in the Zayas, which is some of the most beautiful islands in the country. Yes. I mean, one of my favourite memories in Cebu also centres around lechon. My mum and I got this hot tip to go to these markets and they had all of these whole lechons on the... Lined up? Lined up. Car car. I can't remember. I've always been That's the lechon capital. OK. I was there in 2020 
And I kid you not, it was like line after line of just whole suckling pig. And it was just fresh, cut off there. Yes. We got, you know, a mound of achara and then we went down to the beach and we just un enjoyed it underneath the uh, talisai tray. I'm it was salivating. just perfect. Yeah. Can't wait for this to uh, finish cooking. We, we can take ourselves back there. So what we're going to do is we're going to roast it um, in the oven for about one, I would say 180 to 190 degrees for about 45 minutes. Because this is such a small portion, there's about a kilo here. It would only take about 45 minutes to get our internal um, temperature cooking, which is between 68 to 75 degrees Celsius. And then the last 15 minutes, we'll blast it to 220 degrees to get that crackling forming. Wow, Will, that looks so good. Okay. Okay, can you see the uh, what you did earlier? Piercing the skin made it smooth. So I did a good job. Very pro. <laughs> Shall we? Yes, let's do it. Oh my gosh, perfect. Oh, look, look at, at that, that stuffing. Look at that fat. So we'll remove the um, butcher string, and be careful because it is quite hot. Okay. There you go. Hello. Get in there. Mm. I am in heaven. That is Sabula Chon at its finest. Welcome on board Philippine Airlines. The Philippines is now open for you.